The Constitution is an effort, a real effort, to institute the values expressed in the Declaration of Independence. So if you go to the National Archives, at the center of the Grand Room is not the Declaration of Independence, but the Constitution. And to go in and to be able to see the signatures, George Washington, James Madison, Ben Franklin, all on one paper, we owe everything, all the, the liberties and freedoms that we have to these documents and the men who wrote them. The Constitution as it emerged from the Federal Convention was nothing but a proposal, and it remained so until the state ratifying debates breathed life into that proposal. What gives it legitimacy is the way it was ratified by the American people. The Federalist-Anti-Federalist debate is probably the most intellectual debate we have ever had in this country. To this time, the ratification debates have been given relatively little attention. In some ways, they are the most important. This year of ratification is nothing less than an American Big Bang. It's such a radical change and totally unanticipated. This is the first time in world history anything like that happened. It was a monumental event. This year is the hinge of human history. Before this year, democracy exists in very few places on the globe. In today's world, democracy is over half the planet and it's on the march. And it's because, I submit, of this one year. It was epic.